Good, Britt Eklund, we have been expecting you. <laughs> Welcome to the programme. It's lovely to have you with us, Britt. Um, as one of the Thank finest you. Bond girls ever, tell us about last night. What did you make of the new movie? What did you make of the red carpet and everyone there? I thought it was magnificent. <laughs> um, Daniel Craig has never been better. He's finally loosened up. He was humorous. He did quick one-liners. He was cheeky. He was um, very desirable. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the movie was so gripping that I literally had to walk out at some point because I sat like this all the time. I mean, it is, it is magnificent. That's, all I can say, and uh, you know that I don't say that lightly. It, it was um, it, it was fantastic. The whole evening was fantastic. I guess as well, Britt, it brings back so many memories because you look back on your days as a Bond girl as some of the, the finest moments of your career. Um, it just must fill you with great pride to be part of this franchise. It was so much fun to be a movie star and the Bond girl for one night, because Monday mm -hmm. I'm back on stage as old housekeeper, Mrs. <laughs> Plessy. That's a typical Bond girl, gets the plug in nice That's and early. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Brit, story here. Um, you know, I mean, we've already talked about your glamour and how you are absolutely iconic in terms of Bond. But how do you feel that the Bond girls, or I think you have to call them Bond women now, how, how that's progressed over the years and how those women have changed in their roles? Gloria, we've known each other for many years. <laughs> yeah. um, and I have always maintained that, you know, it has to be a Bond girl, but I've changed my mind. Last night, the Bond women were just that, and they were also incredible. Um, they were quick, fast, they were great actresses, great um, physical, they were very physical. They never showed their bodies, mm. and it didn't matter. They, they were just great Bond women. That's all I can say, they were great Bond women. Well, I'd like to ask you something, uh, Britt. Do you think that James Bond could be a, a, a woman? If the women, I mean, looking back on your day in 1974, when, when you played Mary Goodnight, you spent a lot of the time in gorgeous bikinis. Obviously, we've moved on uh, from that. So do you think that women could finally take over and James, the next James Bond could be female? Absolutely not. Why not? It's, it, because it's written as a man. It's, it's an, a British institution, a British male institution. We can't change that. There's no need to change it. There are plenty of roles for a woman to be physical, but Bond has to be Bond. Britt, can you tell us all what it was like working with the great Roger Moore? Because it is still so iconic. We watch these clips and we see you with him and he seems so suave, but you know firsthand, what was he like? Roger was... Um, he was exactly the same on screen as in private life. You know, a lot of actors are very kind and, you know, very nice and uh, you work with them, you exchange pleasantries and then they leave. With Roger, all my life, from 1974 until he passed two years ago, we were always friends. And it was like a personal relationship. It wasn't just lovely working with you. Um, he, he was exactly the same. He never changed. Some actors are like, you know, cagey. And I understand that because we are all uh, insecure and suspicious, but he never was. He was very generous, very warm, and he wanted to have fun <laughs> within, you know, our ensemble for the film. But Britt, uh, I want to know, the big question is, was he a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> Janet, we don't do things like you do in life. We go like this. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> not a minute. It's uh, it's a lot of swinging around with the head and clo um, closing your eyes and mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do the same. So, Brett, do you have a favourite Bond? Are you allowed to say what you really think? I always say what I really think. That's why I always get a little bit of, um, you know, problems with the press over the last, uh, what, 50 years, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I always tell the truth. I say exactly what I feel. I, uh, I have said in the past that, um, uh, you know, the Bond girl is important, the bikini and all of that. But I changed my mind. I, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, but Roger's your favourite, isn't he? Roger, yes, he is. Um, <laughs> but, but why? Because he was what um, what Ian Fleming wrote. He was sophisticated, suave, um, tall. He was a bachelor, and Bond is a bachelor and will always be a bachelor. But he um, couldn't be a female bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know... You know what the female word for bachelor is? What? Old maid. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have to say, Brit, you're the most glamorous grandmother I've seen in a long time. You look great. You look wonderful, Brit. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the mo new movie. That, that means a lot to have the seal of approval from you. <laughs> and like you alluded at the beginning there, you are currently touring with the comedy thriller The Cat and the Canary. So best of luck with that as well. Thank you so much, Brit, for joining us. Thank you. For having me. Thank you. Thank you.